Well, time to make another opinions video. Hey guys, it's Beanie Boo Wolf, and welcome back to another video. So, as you guys probably know by now, there are some upcoming Beanie Boos for 2024. And I have quite a bit to say, so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys my thoughts and opinions on the new Beanie Boos. And also, here's just a quick disclaimer before we get into the video, but these are my opinions, and I want you guys to respect them. Now, it is completely fine if you don't agree with me on some of the following opinions, but if you disagree, please do not go attack me in the comments, because I'm allowed to think whatever I want about these Beanie Boos. I'm just asking everyone to be respectful of my opinions, that's all. But anyways, we're gonna get right into the video now. Okay, so starting off with the Valentine's Day Beanie Boos, we have this dog. I personally really like this one. He's kind of like a mix between Muddles and Romeo, which I think is really cool. And I forgot to say, but this one's name is Rory, and I know that Ty made a kangaroo with that name back in 2020, but I could always rename him, so it's not a big deal. Anyways, getting on to our next one, we have Gigi. And no, I'm not talking about the character from my short film, I'm talking about this one. Now, I remember seeing this for the first time and being like, oh, this Beanie Boo isn't too bad. But then I realized it looks almost identical to a Beanie Boo from 2011, Julep. This is the same thing that Ty did last Valentine's Day, except with the pandas. Like, seriously, Ty? Oh, come on. I feel like every single set of Valentine's Day Beanie Boos these days has at least one that's just a straight up copy. Okay, those were the Valentine's Day Beanie Boos. Now we're gonna move on to the Easter ones. Starting off, we have Dusty the Bunny. Okay, is it just me, or does this one look a lot like a custom? The way that the ears are colored, and then those random spots, it's just- it gives off custom vibes, I feel like. But other than that, I think this Beanie Boo is alright. I feel like the design is a little bit random, and kind of boring as well because we've gotten a lot of white bunnies, as you know. But if I see it in stores, then I might buy it. And moving on to our next one, we have Petey the Chick. Ty, what is this? The legs on this one look like a human, and then that egg? It literally looks like a diaper. It's almost like a cross between a human baby and a chick. This is definitely a no for me. Ty, please just go back to this design. It was so much better. But I guess one thing that I can appreciate about this one is that it's definitely better than Corwin. All right, those right there were the Valentine's Day and Easter Beanie Boos. Now we're just gonna move on to the regular ones. So starting off with the first one, we have Hambone the Pig. This one is so cute. I don't really know how to feel about the name, but look at the design. My favorite part of the design is probably the ears because I love how big they are. Like, oh my gosh. I love this one. Ty, you did an amazing job. And moving on to our next one, we have Fisher the Penguin. Now, I remember when the image of this one was leaked around June-ish, a lot of people thought it was really ugly, but I don't really see anything wrong with it. I think he's super cute. I personally love the realistic look. I'm not exactly sure which type of penguin he's like supposed to be, because I don't know much about penguins, but all I know is that he looks more realistic than the other ones. And he also looks so soft, like, give me this one. And moving on to our next one, we have Flint the Dragon. Okay, so it looks like Ty is trying out a new design with dragons, and I don't really know how to feel about it. I personally like the older one better. But I do have a feeling that he's probably gonna look very different in person, so I guess I just have to wait for that. And moving on to our last one, we have Ethel the Cow. I decided to save this one for last because it is definitely one of my favorites out of all of these. I love the purple, and we haven't gotten a cow in forever. I feel like Ty should definitely make more cows with different colors, like next they should totally do a strawberry cow. So yeah guys, those are my opinions on the new Beanie Boos for 2024. I think Ty did an amazing job on these ones. Yeah, there were a few that weren't really my favorite, but most of them were really good. And I'm just gonna say this, but these are a lot better than some of the previous releases. So I think Ty is improving. And let me know in the comments what you think of them, because I would love to hear everyone's opinions. So yeah, that's pretty much all for today's video. Bye everyone!